Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode here on the Boredom Server Season 6 map. Hmm. What are we doing here? You might be wondering. Well, it's not for that. Even though I wanted to show this off. Apparently someone was making something over here at the end of last season, I'm guessing. And I never knew it. I never knew this whole area was lit up. I never knew that this platform was here. I didn't know anything. And I'm not even sure what the heck this is. This this looks man-made. It's a little bit man-made here. So, I'm not really sure what the heck was up with that. I mean, I haven't actually done any exploring on this whatsoever. But it looks like there's definitely a lot going on here. And they have like a cobblestone mining method. But yeah. That was interesting to me. I, I just was flying around and I was like, where's the uh, main center area? Which is right over here. And I was just like, huh. Didn't know that was there. But anyways, let's go ahead and go on and try and find our base. Because I don't remember the nether hubs very well at all. Or maybe I do. Oh god, where am I? Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh no. I think I think we're over here. Yeah, we're over here, kind of down here. Yeah, we're this glowing area right down here. Okay. Sweet. I almost forgot how to get back to our base. Cuz I remember if you don't remember the season, it was a PVP season where we had teams we had to try and hide our stuff. That's why there's danger up in the sky but anyways let's go ahead and enter into the base which is all the way down here somewhere right down here and then we fly on over this way there's a random carrot on the ground and then we can use so well, we can't use that because that's done like that bibbity bobbity boo we made sure that our base was definitely really, really secure. But anyways, this is... Why is there a chicken? Why is there a chicken? I swear to God, we just... We can't have nice things. Not with all these freaking chickens around. I'm, oh, okay. That's a lot in there. But this is what I wanted to do, okay? I wanted to come back to this, because I liked this. I loved this, okay? I loved this a lot. I loved these arches. I loved this. The only thing, though, that I wanted to see... Not close down. Um, I wanted to see what this would look like with sea lanterns, okay? So I want to go ahead and do, like, a little bit here. And see what it looks like with sea lanterns, okay? Because I want to use this on the server... And I think that looks eh. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Never mind. I think I do prefer this. I just need to change up the stone, I think, is what I need to do. I'm not sure what I need to do to that stone, though. Hmm. What does that look like? Is that looking better? I'm almost feeling like we're going too stony, so we might need to try and break it up with a different type of stone. I definitely don't want to go terracotta. Ooh, what about you guys? I never really thought about using you guys down here. That might work. I think it definitely works for up there in those spots, right up here. Hmm. I might have to play around with it for a bit. But what I want to do is I want to use this, okay? I want to use this at my base. Because the whole field that we were trying to go with, with this, is kind of like a fallout bunker, okay? And I definitely want to do that whole idea. And I want to have it also on... Um, Man vs. Craft, because this is like one of my favorite builds that we really ever did, was having this, and then up above it, which I, I won't incorporate on Boredom Server. Oh my god. I forgot I had my freaking singing dragons. 
Um, but having this like little look down things. Oh god, I forgot about this. I freaking remember this base. I loved this base. I really did. Me, Daniel, and um, Ducks did an amazing job on doing this base. It was really, really cool. Oh, I never even noticed that. There was one with going sideways stripes. I never even developed that. Huh. Every single time I get on here, I learn something new. I swear to God. Wait, is there... Oh, there you are, buddy. Okay. This is where the hell is the villager at? Um, so yeah, I kind of want to do that design though. I think it would be a really, really cool design to incorporate because I'm trying to do like a military base air force style build. And I think that having this as an underground while well, having like a farm like this kind of in the underground for, um, the guardian farm and stuff like that, I think would be a really, really cool build. Um, and plus most of it's already dug out. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop back over to born server season seven. And let's go ahead and see well, how everything still functions. Um, and we'll go ahead and see. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about over there. All right. So we're back over here now. And it does look. I logged in. And it looks like we did get a little bit of pranking from the evil Dr. Chickenhead. Because <sighs> let's admit it. No one else. No one else would do a chicken prank at all. So we might have to check Town Hall and see if there's anything in the chest. Um, which I kind of doubt it, but who knows. Um, but this is what I'm talking about, okay? Is if we come all the way over here, over next to the monster spawner, we have this little contraption down here, okay? And this is where the guardian farm is supposed to be, okay? So if we come back up here, I'll show you kind of like where the access is going to be up above. Hi-ya! Um, and basically what we want to do is we kind of want to have a bunch of tunnels down here. Kind of incorporating all of the base into one simple thing. Um, including possibly this. I'm not really sure if I want to keep this separate or not. Um, but I want to have above ground and underground access to basically everything. So like there would be like an underground access tunnel here. Um, connecting everything together. I think it'd be a really really cool idea. Plus it seems like something that would make sense. So what I want to go ahead and do is like over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that spooked me. Oh, that spooked me. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Alex, screw you. I like it though. I like it though. That that scared me because I was like, I'm the only one on the server. What the fuck is that? <sighs> God dang it. Anyways, this monster spawner is going to be changed over to a guardian farm. Um, and then once that is changed over to the guardian farm, um, then I want to have an access tunnel. Maybe like over on this side or somewhere. I don't really know. Um, but it will basically be like a ladder going into the underground. So that is basically what I want to do is I want to have a bunch of underground tunnels in the design that season six had going underneath this base. And I don't think it's going to be too much of a thing to handle. Oh my God, there's so many chickens. I'm wondering if he set up a trap somewhere. Wait a minute. If I go to the top of this tower, is there going to be another one? I feel like he probably placed his minions up here too. Yep, called that one. Called it. Called that one. Wait a minute, do I have my elytra on? I do have my elytra on. I just need to find some rockets. And then I could try and see if you put any up there. Because I'm wondering just how many of these there are scattered around now. Because I'm trying to think of all my control areas. Because that's a control area. That other one was a control area. But I don't really think I have... Too many more control areas except for the top of the ship. There's another control area. But I don't know. I don't know where many rockets would be is the only problem. Hmm. We should be able to craft some. Oh no, there's freaking more. God dang it. Die. 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 
Die. Die. Die. Die. Die. Thank you. Die. Oh, hello, baby. Die. Oh, let's see, there's another one. Okay, see, this is a good prank. I like these pranks. They're fun, innocent, and they make me laugh. Uh, let's go and grab just enough to get us up. Let me see. We should have some sugar cane. Yep. Two, three. We got the crafting bench. And then we're gonna do with that. And then we're gonna do with that. And then we're gonna do with that. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh. Alliteration one. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't it that way? Yeah, it's that way. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Honestly, I should have probably just made this all level one, shouldn't I have? Yeah, it's my bad. Alright, let's go and see how elaborate he is, though. So if I had to take a guess, I'd say there's a chip. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh, God. What am I going to do? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else that, there, that they could be. Maybe down by the dock? One way to find out, right? It doesn't look like anything down here by the dock. Then again, I don't really know if I consider the dock really my base at all. And let's see if there's anything over by the chicken. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think. I believe that's it. And then. I believe that we should still have Rick and Moody in here. Yep, we still got. It. Is it Rick? Lil Rick and Morty. Okay, let's go ahead and get you guys back in there because I do not want you guys getting out yet because I still got plans for you. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode, okay? I'm already 12 minutes in. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and do a cut. We're going to go ahead and do some building, uh, figure out like where the main tunnel or where, where the main tunnel is going to be because I think it's going to be one main tunnel going out this way, going like right underneath the runway. Then another one right here, directly underneath the runway. I think that that's probably the best way to go about this. And I see that up there, but I think that's deactivated. The only thing is, and we should be able to see this from the underground, I want to check one thing really quick with you. Because I'm pretty sure that our spawner here is going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be obliterated. Unfortunately. So we're just going to... We're gonna lose this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just regret my life choices of placing that down here, because right in the middle here, is, well actually, we might not have to, we, mm, never mind, we might not have to, I might be able to do this, it's just gonna be a little bit weird. But I might be able to save it. I might be able to save that spawner. It would just be weird how I would set it up. Because this is in the middle of the runway here. And then we have this in here. Ugh, man. It's a little bit tough. This is a little, a little bit tough. Because the middle's right here. Yeah, I think I can make this work. I hope I can make it work. I don't want to lose a spawner. Spawners are so rare to get. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking, though. I'm going to go ahead and do the main tunnel here, main tunnel there, see what we can get done, and then I will be right back. Okay, quick timeout for a second, okay? Because I came over here because I was like, oh, I forgot to check my chest. But I just noticed that we have some hay over here. And I wanted to see what the heck is up with this. Because I have no idea what this is all about. What is this? What are you? I'm puzzled. I legitimately don't know what this is. There's no sign or anything. It's, a, it's definitely a work in progress. But I'm, I'm curious. Huh. We actually have a new build going into Town Hall. Interesting. Alright, let's see. I doubt we got anything. Yeah, we didn't. Um, 
Daniel hasn't been on. Joe didn't get her Bane of Arthur pods. Um, and Ben has pink carpet and mushrooms. What? <laughs> okay. Um, Benny boy, you you have some weird things in your chest. I'm almost wondering if he used it for storage. But I guess while we're here, we can go ahead and check the shops. I don't think we probably did anything else since we've been away. Nope. And then I would imagine probably nothing on the elytra as well. Um, but I want to go ahead and walk down there really quick to see if there's any more signs. Because I think... I think um, that we're going to have Alex probably work on this. Okay. Yeah, so everything... I'm, I'm going to go with Alex and just tell him to go and do it. Because I'm not really sure when Daniel will be back on for this server. Um, he's back, but he's still doing his family thing for now. So, I want to see if we can get the bank going and figure out what the heck that is. Oh, wait a minute. This is being made by John. Yeah, this is being made by John. This is what... Okay, he needs a lot of hay. Oh... Okay, I have no idea what it is though, but I know it's a build that's being made by John. That's about all I know though. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead because I there's a, we have a trade deal right now of where if I get them hay, well, wheat, then I will be able to get um, some quartz in return. So, anyways, let's go and cut back again. Work on tunnels. All right, guys. So a little bit over 24 hours later. And the job is pretty much done to the point of where I wanted it to be. It's not fully done, but it's good enough to the point of where I can show you guys what's going on. So, we do not have this thing active at all, so I can't really show this off yet. But, this is kind of going to be how the entrances work. To... Uh-oh. <laughs> Freaking wings. Um, this is going to be kind of how like, the entrance works to all these um, to the tunnels. The only thing I might add is some iron trap doors to the tops of these and maybe like add a button so that way you kind of just push it and then you drop down into these things. Um, but that would be about the most that I would do to try and like cover them up or anything like that. But then we come down here and we're automatically right here at the guardian farm once we have it up and running. And then this worked out. This worked out a lot better than... Why did you spawn? What? That shouldn't be possible, should it? That's weird. Um, anyways, this is pretty good. I'm actually really happy with this. It's on the corner, and it actually looks pretty good, and it's got four blocks on each side. It worked out better than I had, had expected. It, it really did turn out great. So let me see. You're spinning all the way fast. Nothing spawning. You want to. There we go. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, anyways, I switched that over to the Vindicator, which I'm not not too, like, against. I think it's going to stay Vindicator, but I can't have it be a nature one anymore because just the grass in here was just tacky, I guess. It didn't look good at all. Having this be, like, a dark spawner was basically the best thing that we could have, even though it's really, really light around here. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it works. But the tunnels are here. And I did change them up. We went with the sea lanterns. I think they actually turned out to be a little bit more of a uh, fluorescent type thing. Uh, white light type source. Um, it makes a little bit more sense for an underground facility sort of thing. Um, also added these in. I didn't have these on the other like bunker. It was just completely... It's diorite, diorite, andesite. It was just completely andesite. So I decided to go and add that in. But I'm liking this. I do want to have like little break off rooms like with the storage and whatnot. I think that that's going to be a really good way to go. Um, but I am very, very happy with how this turned out. So I only came this far though. I mean just to the beacon. And if we come on up here, you're going to see that we still have a very, very long way to go with these tunnels. Because the tunnel over here only goes to like right about there. So what I can do at this point is start building above ground and start looking down below and being like, okay, so this is where the tying can be here. This is where the tying can be here. And then we can start working on 
um, tying things into tunnels. But I want to focus on the above ground builds, and then we can attach tunnels later. Um, that's not a big deal at all in my mind. Um, but there is one thing that we do have to do, okay? This is a little bit off topic, but we need to go to Town Hall. Oh, that's a pretty good bit of iron. Um, so that way we can go ahead and check out uh, my mailbox. Because apparently, apparently we left some mail in my mailbox from the JoJo. So we need to go ahead and check that out. Um... <coughs> I was asked, oh, did you go to your mailbox? And I was like, no, I didn't go to my mailbox. I went to the tree, because I was thinking for Halloween I should go to the tree, not the mailbox, but oh well. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and check that out. I'm pretty sure I already know what's in it, uh, but we'll just see. So, without further ado, mailboxes are... This corner, I believe. Oh wait, Kyle, remembered in your video, you said you're out of fish here. <laughs> wait a minute, this, this probably has a note in it. But thank you very much, Joe, for the fish. Uh, definitely my preferred food method. Because I, I, like, I like my steak, but I don't need my steak. So Queen of Bees, you can now have my steak. So what is in this book and quill? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I knew that this was going to be happening. I knew that we had something more. All right, dear Stinkbear, due to your recent visit to my lair, I am having a few... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I will be leaving some... Wait a minute. We already read this, didn't we? Yes. One of my minions has taken over in my absence. I think you'll find the spies are everywhere. I think this is new. P.S. One of my minions has taken over from me in my absence. I think you'll find that my spies are everywhere. Have fun rooting them all out. Bah ha ha. Hint. I have... And... Ma wait, what? I have and many agents as there are districts. I have as many agents as there are districts. Four agents. Okay. Good luck. So, I'm guessing... That the agents that he's referring to are the, like, the armor stands that we came across. Which we had one in Guardian Farm, like where we were just at. We had one up in the air control tower. We had one by my bed that I found. So where is the fourth? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a very good question. Because we have four districts. We have the creative, we have the farming district, we have all these different... Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where the fourth one is. I think it's in my storage room. I think I just forgot about it. I think it's, like, over here. Yeah, here we go. That's the fourth one. Okay, so we found all four of them. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought we had all four. Because if you haven't noticed, I have, like, no spawn right now. My bed was right here. So I had to tear down my house in order to make my tunnel. So, unfortunately, I can't die right now. Because otherwise I'm going to be going all the way to Town Hall. But at least we have a spawn there now. Like, portals and whatnot. So that's fine. But anyways, I'm guessing that that's what he was talking about. Um... So we had, like, the one over there, which I'm, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep them around. I like them. They're kind of adorable. Um, so I'm going to keep that one there, one in the storage room, and the one up there. Wait a minute. Was there one up here? I thought there was, I thought there was one up here. I'm pretty sure. I thought it was, like, right over here on this side of the ladder. Let me just double check and make sure. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, I think that that's all four of them. Uh, so really cool prank. I really do appreciate those. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for this video, everybody. Uh, if you have any opinions for what I should do for the next video, please do not be shy and let me know. I'm thinking of trying to make an official spot for my nether portal. I think it could be kind of cool. And I have a kind of an interesting concept for it. Uh, so we might be doing that in the next episode. But we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys back here in the next episode. Bye.